Ladies and gentlemen, the winds of change are sweeping in the Middle East and uh, North Africa, from Tunisia and Egypt, Bahrain to Yemen, and beyond, the region's people are demanding new rights and new freedoms. Uh, from the beginning, I have called on leaders in the region to hear the voices of their people, to respect their right of free speech and free assembly. Over the weekend, the United Nations Security Council uh, met in emergency session. Unanimously, it adopted a wide-ranging resolution imposing an arms embargo and sanctions and referring the situation to the International Criminal Court. This in itself is without precedent, a clear declaration of principle with unmistakable consequence. Gross violations of human rights will not be tolerated. And those responsible will be uh, punished. Uh, tough as these measures are, however, further action may well be necessary. Earlier this afternoon, President Obama and I discussed options uh, before us. I thank the President Obama for his firm and decisive uh, leadership. We agreed that the international community must stand firmly against during this historic transition toward a more democratic, secure, and prosperous Middle East. For my part, as the Secretary General of the United Nations, I will continue to consult widely with world leaders on our next steps. I commend the Human Rights Council for its unanimous recommendation to suspend Libya until the violence stops. I welcome its call for an independent investigation, international investigation. And I urge all member states of the United Nations to act decisively in the General Assembly tomorrow.